The Liberal Democrats are heading for almost total wipeout in May's election in Scotland. Could the Scottish Liberal Democrats become extinct? Oh, come on. Let's, none of this dismal talk. We've well, got a great chance. Said this of, before the general <laughs> election, but we've got a great chance of growing this time for two reasons. I think if you look at our team in Holyrood, we've punched well above our weight on things like holding the SNP to account on the police, mm. investing in nursery education colleges, but also on the second thing is we've got a big, bold package for this election. I mean, we are standing up for an investment of a penny on income tax for education, like Labour. Well, actually, yes, like Labour, but for, we are proposing it for education to have a transformational effect of £475 million for a pupil premium, for nursery education, but also for our colleges. It's different from Labour's, but it's bold and I think it's progressive. It may be bold, but is anyone listening, Willie yeah. Rennie? That's the point. The, the, the policy suggestions now may be very eye-catching. Mm. The point is, where is the evidence that people are listening to you to deliver it? Uh, the latest polls, February, just last month, Liberal Democrats polling 4 to 6 per cent. Now, I know, we know that the polls aren't always right, mm. um, but even so... Where's your evidence? Well, the, that... the polls aren't always right. And from what I'm finding, I'm sure others will tell you, is that in different parts of Scotland, our message is penetrating. We can see it in the past. How can you see it? I mean, is it going well, to turn into seats? Well, yes. I believe we're going to grow this time. I believe How we're many? Going to have, well, you would. It would be wrong for me to start predicting about you the You sound very confident. Well, I am, because I think we've got a bold package and we've got a team that punches well above its weight. So, yes, I think we will grow. And actually, if you think that it's a good idea to have the Scottish Parliament dominated by the Scottish National Party, then you only have to look at some of the mistakes they've made in the last few years to realise that that wouldn't be a good thing. We need diversity. We need a strong voice in that Parliament for liberal values that I stand up for. Would you ever consider joining any of the other parties in the Scottish Parliament? As you say, if you are worried about the dominance of the SNP, and that shown, shows no signs of abating, why not join another party? Well, because I'm a Liberal Democrat. Yeah, I, but you I could join to, forces. Well, yeah, I mean, we work together on a variety exactly. of things. We, well, we do. On, on, I mean, we work together on the referendum, we work together on budgets, yeah. on other things. And but... you share this policy with Scottish Labour, who are also struggling at the moment, um, this idea of a penny on income tax. Wouldn't it be worthwhile in your bid to stop the rise of the SNP to join well, forces. The, the, most, the best way to get the most votes in an election is to be clear, distinct and campaign vigorously in the parts of the country they've got a great chance of winning. And that's exactly what we're doing. I'm not interested in pre-election packs and coalitions, all that kind of stuff. That's for other people to talk about. What I'm really interested in is making progress in this election. I think we've turned the corner. I think we've mm -hmm. had, had a difficult five years. We accept that. But this time round, with our bold package, but also our great team, I think we've got a great chance of progressing. So you haven't had any talks with anyone? No one's come to you yeah. to talk about joining forces on anything? Yeah. I mean, what about if the Conservatives leapfrog Labour? Uh, Ruth Davidson was obviously pushing that forward. Uh, Kezia Dugdale uh, denied that would ever happen. Again, would you do a deal with the Conservatives? Well, isn't that a dismal prospect? A dismal prospect of having the Conservatives who talk about the SNP all the time, and having the SNP who talk about the Conservatives all the time, feeding off each other. One determined, in part, to break up the European Union. The other one determined to break up the United Kingdom. I think we need parties in there that stand up for progressive politics and keep in our country together. I mean, if the EU referendum delivers a Leave vote in June, is there a scenario where the Scottish Liberal Democrats would support the idea of a second Scottish independence well, what referendum? I what I want to do is I want to stop all this. And that's where the danger of the Conservatives just now, with their divisions on Europe, are really risking another independence referendum. We could end up losing the two great unions of the United Kingdom, partly because the Conservatives are so divided on the issue, but because we've heard from Nicola Sturgeon in the clip there, mm -hmm. she's determined to have another independence referendum. We should be moving on for the next five years to talk about the big issues that face this country. I think it's about protecting the environment, it's about investing in education, keeping what's best in our NHS, but also guaranteeing our civil liberties. That's the focus for the next five years, not all this constitutional, forever navel-gazing that those other two parties who feed off each other constantly are determined to do. Willie Rennie, thank you very much.